Hello, welcome back to UFO 50. Uh, today we're playing Rock Shasa? Rock Shasa? It's a 1988 game. Uh, one player, platformer, even death won't stop Jangai from avenging the destruction of his village by demons. Wow. A Rakshasa sequel is planned in which the player will be able to reincarnate as various animals. <laughs> okay, interesting. Is that in this collection? Well, I guess we'll see. I don't remember reincarnating as animals in any other game, so... Sure. Let's check this out. A quiet night in Zura Valley, much like any other. Watch out, there's a tiger. It was close to midnight when they arrived. What, the gods? Are these gods? Oh no, those are demons. Demons of hell, of course. They set fire to the village and slaughtered its inhabitants. I'm, I'm using my, like, children's voice... Children's book voice again. The village chief, Jangi, fought them off with all his might. But ultimately suffered a mortal blow. I think maybe it's the forced pacing makes me read it like a children's book, too. This is the end. Gasp, <laughs> he said. <laughs> oh, high score game. All right. High score platformer? What the hell? Okay, I'm like a ghost. Oh. We've revived Jangi. That's a little weird. Oh, the crouch is hilarious. All right, so I... Oh, I have time. Uh-oh. Okay, so the jump is very committal. We're just... As always, we're, like, learning the game before we dive in. And then you can shoot with the, with the other button. Oh, you can aim it up and... Not down. You can duck and shoot or aim it diagonal up. And then if you hold the button, it does that. But I have no idea what that does because it doesn't look like it... Oh, it shoots a little farther. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. Oh! Cool! It's one of these types of platformers that don't really exist anymore. Or there's like... It's a very arcade-style platformer. Like, uh... Oh, there's that NES game, too. What's that NES game called? Rangar? Not Rangar. Uh... R we'll get there. Oh, shit. <laughs> um... Okay, so I see. When you die, you get this little ghost mini game, I guess. Okay. Oh, we lost our power up, though. Okay, and we can shoot diagonal down in midair. Just not. We don't have a double jump. I mean, this is similar to like ghosts and goblins, right? That's a. Let's say more. Uh... Holy shit, that's a lot of... Okay, so it, that escalates. <laughs> oh, and it, <laughs> That's really funny. So I thought the top left were lives. But no, that's in fact deaths. <laughs> you start the game with one death, and then you gain more deaths. Really funny. Uh, yeah, so Ghosts and Goblins is a is maybe a more common touch point for this this genre of platformer. But there's like a uh, monster. Oh, wait, what's that game called? Monster Boy? Monster War. Oh god, I'm horrible with names when I have to like recall something from a while ago. Oh, cool! They all have different like types of shots uh, when you charge them. It's not just longer. Like that one's like a double, double helix. Okay, so the hand is worth the least. Jeez, okay, this is tough. This is tough. It doesn't seem like you can do anything as the ghost except move. Oh, there I didn't get a choice. God, what is that NES game called? You have, you have like a, a boomerang or like a, a disc. I want to see what this is. Homing. Okay. 
I can get behind homing. More time. <laughs> the hand is worth a thousand. Okay. This is cool so far. I like this. I don't know how to get up there. Rygar. <laughs> that is the game I'm thinking of. I see. So if you like your power up, you can get points instead. Yeah, plays look like Rygar. There's a bunch of games in arcades that played similarly to this, too. Um... You can kind of, like, it's Castlevania-esque, maybe, but yeah, I think I think Ghosts and Goblins or, like, Rygar are the good comparisons. We have a problem here. That doesn't home you. Oh, okay, here we go. There we go. I guess I don't know why we're going that way to begin with, but... What do you do? <laughs> I have a little bat friend. <laughs> That's so cute. What? What was that? Why did that happen? My bat friend's gone. Nope, they're back. I don't know how... I don't know what that did. It looked bad, but then I collected it anyway, because my curiosity got the best of me. I want the hand, please. Ghosts and Goblins was cool because it, it had this, like, jump that you can't control mid-air, but you have a double jump. So it ends up playing... It's a bit like Mooncat, where you have a little air control, but not total air control, which is an interesting... Uh, it plays in an interesting way, in my opinion. Because you, you... It's like this halfway point between full air control and, like, no air control. You get some air control. Or are these frogs not evil? Oh, those are those are treasure frogs. I want this. Ah. Shit. Oh, he was just an extra hit. Cute. Dude, I like the aesthetics in this game. These little elephants. I think homing shots busted. Bombs are scarier than I thought they'd be because they shoot projectiles. We're fine. I want the hand. I want the. Oh my god, you're so slow. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, what's the bell do? Um, I have some kind of god doing something. Oh, god. Alright, we just gotta survive the bullet hell to be allowed another life. Great. I don't know how many more of those we can survive. Oh, we lost our- we lost our homing shot. What a disaster. Okay, yeah, this is a huge disaster, because now... I'm a little chaotic in here. No, we're experts. Can't stop us. Excuse me? No, come on. 
Uh, all right. Yeah, uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Sure. <laughs> uh-huh. If you say so. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, Indiana Jones? I thought a big rock was coming for sure. It's just these tiny ass rocks? That's not anything. What what the hell are you? We're staying under this platform, by the way. This platform is much safer than Alright, we kill that fucking thing. Can we get power up, please? This default weapon sucks. It, like, does horrible damage. Like, uh... Can I go in these doors? Okay. Just need to check. Oh, the enemies come out of the doors. Jesus Christ. Okay. Someone press this button for me? No, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many switches being flipped. Oh my god. What button controls this? Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Deserved. Oh! It's like ghosts and goblins. Alright, I'm into it. Have fun. <laughs> It keeping track of your death deaths instead of lives is funny. I'll take the fireball. Yeah, I mean <laughs> reset me, please. Brr. Jeez. Okay, so there's there's so much. You fall, or you, like there's so much landing lag. That's pretty important to like not jump when you don't have to. Down or up. I see. You can shoot that thing stock. Okay, that helps. Hand's best, right? It's hand pot, or it's coin pot hand. Yeah, coin's 200, hand's 1,000. Okay. I, okay, I probably shouldn't go after that. Seems like the time limit isn't terribly uh, strict. It's just like there to keep you from farming too many points, I think. Take our extra time. Alright, that guy's a pushover. Okay, I like fire. It has a good range. Unlike ghosts and goblins, these power-ups are actual power-ups and not traps. So that's nice. That's good design, I think. Oh, it's the treasure frogs. Please stay away from me. Okay, we're being overrun by monkey. I don't like monkey underneath me. That pot downgrade to... Oh my god. That monkey was just suddenly on me. Alright. If we fail the, uh... Two death bullet hell, we're, we're in for some trouble. Wow, I... Alright, oh this is an extra hit. 
This is a great thing. This thing's great. I love this little dude. I'm not going back down there. Monkeys, man. Come out of nowhere. Alright, we'll take your pot. Yeah, the right amount of, like, stiffness in the controls. Uh, reminds me of Castlevania as well. Like, Castlevania has that thing where it, you're, like, committing to jumps. You're committing to your attack. Oh, I thought that was a hole, but that's a tree in the foreground. What is this? Kills all the enemies on the screen. Okay, good to know. Buddy scared me there. <laughs> treasure fro frogs are a lot like treasure goblins in Diablo, where they can get you killed. I don't think I can get that. Man. Now I have to fight this boss without homing shots? What a nightmare. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I mean, that's on me. <laughs> uh, in the afterlife bullet hell, we are doing fine. Those things like screen wrap, which is concerning. tough without homing shot we found the hand we've done it we've done it we're god gamers <sighs> love this there went our frog treasures <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's got a bit of a Gradius thing going on here where you lose your power up and then it's horrible. Um, But I'm fine with that mechanic. What the fuck are the... Is, is those go in the spirit realm? That's not right. You can make you can make the death worse by like dying on a screen with a torch because the torches exist in the spirit realm. Is this a power up? Thank God. Oh my God, dude. Okay, wish me luck. <laughs> uh -huh. The skull charge. The eyeballs shoot. <laughs> and the ball's like screen wrap. All right, it's pretty important to keep your keep your power ups. Put me in. Go spread shot. Why not? We haven't. This is the one we've tried the least. Oh, it's like area denial. By the way. <laughs> I refuse to take a death that early. Hmm. 
All right, so the the cyan ones are spear throwers. Yeah, it's sort of like an area denial thing. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know about spread shot. We'll take this death, whatever. It's a learning experience. What did I take last time? Fire? Fire felt good. Spread's good for, like, enemies you don't have to hit more than once, maybe. My bad. I didn't know. I didn't know you dropped a hand. Yeah, spread shot's kind of nice. Or not spread shot, homing. Specifically in this, like, vertical section. Seems good. And against all these little stupid things. How's this work? I go up here and then it spawns a bunch of coins below me. I see, so my little... Ooh. My little buddy points out... Oh, there's a bell here. What do you do? Are you a power-up person? Oh, it re removes a death! That's sort of like getting an extra life. <laughs> Please, monkey. Stop. Okay, so my buddy's saying there's something, there's a secret, like, here? No. A secret here. I see. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, we've collected fire. I was mostly trying to get the frog, but whatever. Alright, we have an extra hit for this guy, which is cool. We have kind of a long-range attack, too, which is cool. Wow, that's a lot of bombs. Yup, there goes my buddy. Alright. Find the hand. Found it. Get the pots. Nice. Okay, this is better than we've done, because we effectively have no deaths. Or sorry, one death. The unavoidable one at the beginning. Yeah, so much like, uh... Kick Club? In this pack, there are, like, special places you can touch to get more points. That's kind of cool. We would love homing here, I think. These frogs are annoying. The frogs are still annoying with homing. Jesus Christ. 
Turns out the frogs were still annoying with homing. That's gonna shoot. Okay. Stop. Stop guarding that thing. Ugh. Whatever. We no longer have homing. Which we are not happy about. <laughs> Please, man. <laughs> I hate the frogs. You know I hate the frogs. All my homies know I hate frog. Alright. Oh, right. Which switch switches what? Okay, I think the problem before... I see how this works. You flip a switch up here, and it makes the switch down there active. So the moment I flipped that other switch, I was in for trouble because... Um... Uh, because it, it was going to keep getting flipped by the enemies at that point, and I was, like, standing on the other button. So I need to wait for that guy to press that button to flip it up. I see. They're like traps, right? I was scared, but it was fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, shmup. Dodge him up. Ugh. At least there are no torches on screen. Alright. Let me in, let me in. By the hair on my chinny chin chin. Here we go. We're getting in. I see. I see the problem. Ugh. Uh, I'm thinking fire. Do we just like to kill things faster if we could? No, can't. Um. <laughs> Hit boxes. Yeah, oh, jeez. That's rough. You, okay, so you need to just stay away from where they're spawning at the start because you don't know what's coming out. <sighs> Let's get some more shots. I'm like, I'm into this. This is cool. This is very engaging. I've always liked these, like, sort of combat-oriented platformers. I think they're super fun. I don't know if homing's the best here, but... Either homing or fire. I think... I think the real... The bad choice is the spread shot. I like how the charged-up homing shot shoots out, like, two minor homing shots. Uh, when it hits, that's kind of cool. Rip. Stay with this and take our points, if you don't mind. I was gonna say there's some like argument to not, or for for him to wait for him to come back to me, so I don't have to run far, as far back. But it turned out to be false. Keep homing, please. 
Oh, there's two different types of... There's like a pot and a vase. The vase is worth 500. The pot's worth 200. Yeah, I mean, that's on me. Where did I find that power-up last time that, like, deleted a death? Oh, that clears all the enemies. It's in... No, it's not in this. Christ. Come to me. Oh, right. This is a problem. Yeah, and the monkeys spawn by you. Yeah, so there's a thing here. You go down here. There's, like, another thing over here, apparently? Is that what you're telling me? Aha. It's the bell. Okay. Thank you, little helper. So if you get this little helper, the longer you have this little help... Oh my god. Alright, bye, little helper. The longer you have that guy, the more he helps you, because he, he points out secrets. Some of which remove deaths. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like I deserved that. These monkeys, man. I need to, like, wait for the monkey to spawn before I commit to a move. turns around. Okay. Brrrr. I think we went homing for this boss. I don't know. You kill his bombs in two shots, but oh god. <laughs> I forgot he could jump up wherever he wants. Uh, I don't know. We're losing focus here. Oh god. Oh no! This game's brutal. I'll play a ton of this. <laughs> I love pain. We like homing because we can beat this area with homing, and also we get 500 points because we want homing in the next area. There you go. There's your strategy. I bet going up here is a secret. Wrong. Idiot. <laughs> nice try. It feels like the time limit only exists to stop you from farming points forever, maybe? So I need to time it to go for the thing. I need to time it to go for the for the for the the vase because I'm doing it too late every time. Oh no, we've made a huge mistake. A blunder. I don't like this thing. Maybe it's good against the boss. I mean, it's about as good as anything else. That boss is kind of not that scary. Oh, does this... These kill projectiles. Okay. That's something. That is indeed something. Oh, we get, we get this anyway. 
All right, give me the homing. I ain't here to I ain't here to mess around. We're gonna get to zero lives, damn it, or zero deaths. All right. You get the egg. Shoot you. Remember monkeys fall here. Ah. Uh. All right. Get you. Fall here. Get you. Fall here. Get you. Remove a death. All right. Now we're cooking. Not my brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, monkeys, monkeys. We're hyper focused on monkey. That monkey did not have a chance. All right, don't go up until the monkey falls. There we go. There you go. Monkeys are an existential threat. It blocking projectiles is like kind of cool. Um, it's it's just not worth it. We'll take our vase points, please. Actually jump up wherever you want, so you can only jump up in the middle, huh? Alright. That guy's an idiot. Oh, we got screwed. RNG hand. There's <laughs> my thousand points. Which is not insignificant, that's a tenth of my score. All right, we try not to die here. We go for pot. Still didn't work. We're still too late somehow. <laughs> it's it's incredible. Okay, the longer we dick around in frog area, the more likely it is we die to frog. It's just that's just statistics. It's like driving. If you drive too much, you're going to you you're, you increase your risk of dying to driving. You know? Come on, frogs. Alright, this is a simple one. Just don't be an idiot. Okay, the, the torch actually could have screwed us there, but... Wow, the two-shot frog is no good. Maybe I should take... I didn't want to commit to, like, jumping up there. It was scary? Okay. The two-shot frog's really something, huh? Like, maybe a... Maybe Fireball is a one-shot frog, and that's a... That's an argument for taking Fireball? Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Remember, these switch when they touch them. On the bottom. So I need to press that. We're just going to random it because a one-third chance is much better than always getting the worst result. Alright, I need to press this. Uh, this one to go fast because then they bait you into that. You press this to go forward. I don't know. I'm not going for those pots. That's a... God damn it. I need to- I need to just wait a tick before I commit to things. 
All right, here's the snake boss again. He's hard to reach? Wow. Uh, the homing shot is not ideal for this, I would say. Ugh. Although I suspect non-homing shot's even worse, but we'll see. Okay, screen wrap is the scariest. Be patient, you're fine. I'm gonna get under you. Oh my god. Thank you. Just be patient. Ah, I wasn't patient. You kind of want to wait for them to shoot before you... Before you commit. Okay, that was an enemy. Screen wrappers are a little near me. Okay, we're good. I guess kill this one. Oh, he, he's not always in range. He's in range when you charge. Okay. Charge mechanic important. Okay. Don't jump in that fight. Honestly, you're committing yourself to a horrible... Like, you don't know where the bullets are going to be, and then you're committing to a jump. It's pretty bad. Okay, this timer seems a little stricter than the... Uh, timer in the previous level? Or do you carry over your time through the whole game? I thought it, like, reset after a level. Okay. Is this a power-up, please? No, that's a death coin. Oh, the death coin spawns that guy. Okay, so... Oh! Yeah, like, because that one time... Okay, so that is a bad power-up. Okay. <laughs> On the first level, I think the first or second time I played it, there's, like, a death coin that dropped, and I picked it up, and I was like, oh, that didn't do anything bad. Um, But I noticed on subsequent runs, there was, like... It, it felt like it was missing an enemy at that specific spot, and so, yeah, that's the enemy that was missing. It's the, the fucking cloud that... It strikes strikes you with lightning. <laughs> okay, really cool game. Rakshash Rakasha? What was this called? Rakshasa. Rakshasa. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the list. Rakshasa. I like this a lot. Um, I think it's very good. It's probably, like, up here, honestly. Rakshasa? Did I spell this right? Rakshasa. Great. It's it's a really solid uh, combat-oriented platformer, and I love these. It, 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 takes the, it takes the good parts of, like, Castlevania and Ghosts and Goblins, which are I, probably the, the premier games in those genres for me. Um... And that it's 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 very particular in how you need to control like everything you do um has a cost like attacking locks you in place for a bit or jumping you know is a is a set a set arc so like and in, in, in even in this game falling and like landing on the ground you're stuck there for a bit like you are in barbuda and that's just a, that's just another way to make your your movement more deliberate. Um, I like the charging mechanic; that feels really good. There's like this really interesting uh, trade off between like, you know, when enemies are close, you can shoot fast, but sometimes it's worth it to charge a bit so you can hit a far away enemy. Um, the enemies are spawning at like a good rate, so it, it always is putting pressure on you. Uh, plus the timer. Yeah, really solid. Really, they understood the, the genre and implemented it really well. And I think it's a, a great game. I love that. I would definitely play more of that. All right, thank you for watching.